I'm going to share some insights about how the forest works through a syntropic prism. So here we've got some uh, re-sprouting camphor laurel that was cut maybe 10 years ago. All coppicing and re-sprouting. And that's just the, you know, the edge of the scrubs. And then up above the camphor, right up high, very tall, uh, old cudgery trees which were there many they've, they're very old they've been there a long time and a lot longer than this stuff here that's below it and what it is is what's going on is the the forest is out of sync because man has intervened at some stage over the last, well, you know, going back as far as you like, but uh, it's a naive intervention because some trees have been left standing, some species that deemed must go have been cut back, and it's resulted in a forest where the macroorganism, the whole web of life that that is, is out of sync with each other, two different age groups. And when a plant gets old, like these trees, they start to become senescent and shut down. And these plants may have become old uh, prematurely because the forest originally that they came from was removed. And that probably just sent them into this kind of senescence that's going on up there. Now these coppice camphor laurels are all sitting, waiting they still sort of gone through their growth curve and now they're just going to grow and sit like this and continue to just, just remain there with, without a lot of growth. And they'll do that, they might do it for God 80 years until those trees finally fall down. And all of the trees, the young trees that are under these camphor laurel will then um, uh, uh, grow through to find the light after these old trees have gone. You know, the, an old tree might come down and knock over a big clearing in this this scrub. And then those, the young trees that are below it, the higher succession species that are inside here and getting nursed, will then come forward and grow in succession. will will um, keep moving forward. But because we created this oddity, this situation, we can change it. Um, now with the older trees, with any senescent plant, no, no matter what its size, it's, generally its height is equal to the radius of influence that it has around it. So these trees are very, very tall and they're having an influence on our agroforestry. Because if you lay that tree down, those big cudgery trees down, they'll reach to our agroforestry and you can see that. I'm going to show you, we have these Grevillea robusta, banana and lime, all sort of a healthy row, all coming along, coming along towards the end, and as it gets to the end, the last trees get smaller and smaller and smaller, until you're left with these little ones at the end, you can see it as you go back, and get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then continue along, healthy and then fade off down here as they're influenced by those big trees there. They're senescent. And here again is another example on this next row where they're just very small, the eucalypt gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it goes down the row. So what we have to do in order to increase life in the agroforestry and also increase life here and stop this stagnant camphor laurel stand or well, just you know in, increase its quality we've got to knock those trees down we've got to just say goodbye to the damage done in the past 
and allow for renewal by knocking these down, letting these camphor respond, but also at the same time we can prune back those camphor and use that biomass to support, make that artificial clearing and then allow for the younger species, the, uh, the sorry, the high succession young plants that are coming through this, they can then move forward and, and, and the whole process will move forward faster. It's a process that must occur so we can increase the speed of that process, make everything grow faster with management.